Hey guys, um, I'm going to show you how to add a user to sudo on Arch Linux, or basically how to set up um, basic sudo. So you can do a lot with sudo, but um, I'm just going to show you the basic use case. So right now I'm logged in as a regular user without root privileges, and to, to, I can't run the sudo command. So if I run like sudo um, anything, it will. So I can type in my password. And it's going to say user one is not in the sudoers file. This incident will be reported. Okay, fine. So I can't run sudo, and I can't use sudo to become root. So you you might go like that to become root. Yeah, I can't do that. All right. So you, I can I do happen to know the root password and have the ability to log in as root. So instead of using sudo to log in as root, I would say su dash. So su dash and you could specify a username like user2 or something but if you don't specify a username you're going to end up logging in as root by default so all right so i'm going to log in as root i do know the root password so i can use su dash and just log straight in as root all right so here i am as root now um we to uh give myself permission to use sudo i will edit the Etsy sudoers file right here. <clears throat> and um, there is this line right here, wheel. And basically, if we uncomment this line, it will give any user in the wheel group permission to run any command. So you can run anything you want with root privileges if you're in this group. So we're going to uncomment this command. And then we are going to save this file with an exclamation mark because it's a uh, read-only file and then uh, we're just going to verify an Etsy group and there here's the wheel group so notice that my user user one is in the wheel group so I should have permission to run sudo so let's get out of here and exit now let, let's try running sudo again so sudo ls, and there we go, it works. Now we don't need sudo to run the ls command, but um, this just shows us that we can do that. Now, um, let's say if you were to run uh, ls root, here's, here's a directory where we shouldn't have permission to view. So, all right, permission denied, we can't, use, we can't do that. So we could say sudo ls, and there we go. We can see what's inside the root directory. So let's say if we wanted to do something like touch opt opt test, we shouldn't have permission to create a file called test in the opt directory. And we don't, no permission. So we could say sudo touch opt test. And there we go, it worked. We were able to create a file in that directory that requires root permission. So, and, and it's owned by root because we use sudo. Now we can also now now we, we still know the root password, so we could use su to become root, su dash to become root, or we could use sudo su dash sudo su and use our own password to become root. Now since we've just used sudo within a certain amount of time, we don't even have to type in our password. So until that time's out, we can use sudo all we want without typing our password, which is also pretty convenient if you're switching back and forth a lot. You don't necessarily want to type your password in a lot. So now we can become root using our own password or even not using a password. And that's it. So hopefully you found this useful or at least interesting, if nothing else. You might want to give me a thumbs up. Um, you might want to hit that subscribe button also and uh, hit the little bell icon up. Otherwise, uh, YouTube's probably not going to let you know when we come out with a new video. Um, we do have a lot of great stuff coming up. And, and we've actually, if you want to check our list of videos, we've already put out a lot of uh, pretty interesting things, some more interesting than others. Um, we cover a lot of great stuff um, coding, servers, hardware, software, 3D printing, electronics, uh, single board computers, robots, networking all sorts of great tech related stuff that you're not going to want to miss. So if you, if you want your YouTube feed to uh, you know be that much more interesting, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button. But more important than any of that stuff, you're going to want to leave a comment down below, especially if you know something that I don't know. Um, definitely let me know, not just for me, but for the next person who comes along and watches this video and reads the comments. Um, leave a comment that for them also. Any, any comments, questions, criticisms, whatever you want to say, I probably want to hear it. So do leave a comment down below. 
And uh, that's pretty much it for today. So as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.